is something I was pretty convinced was going to happen. It's not official yet, but HP is officially standing behind this now, so I really do think this is what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, I'm sure Bit is happy as a clam over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's <laughs> and and I, I, I'm honestly not surprised here, because it, it's like, th this is the only way HP is going to get WebOS to stick. For those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, HP is officially saying, send in the clones. We're open to licensing WebOS. We want it to stick. We want it on everything all over the place. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 I mean, I think they're not going to do it right now, but um, they're definitely going to, they're definitely, they have it open as an option. And I think once they get uh, all, everything up and running, they're going to see how the touchpad runs. And once from there, I think by December, they'll probably start. Uh, Licensing WebOS out. If, if, well, no, if, 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 if it's not successfully. What is really interesting about this is this is going to be is if this happens, which where this you know it's all but done. Basically, they don't have people to license it to yet, but they're like, we want to do it, we want it on. This is going to be the first time in history that we're going to have the uh, proprietary OS largely owned by a single manufacturer competing against itself openly against the same business model that's saying licensing bad. Because we're gonna have and we're gonna have Apple over here with OS ten saying we don't want to license it, no licensing, licensing bad. And we're gonna have HP over here with WebOS who is selling WebOS HP, which is WebOS flagship, while simultaneously licensing it out to others to yeah, I hope that it, because let me if if HP is successful and WebOS begins to go very viral uh, and then be, becomes uh, extremely successful using that model, I, I think the, uh, that's going to put off any future argument about this relationship stuff and walled gardens. Right, yeah, because like the argument all the Apple zealots and fanboys make is, oh, it'd be disastrous. And if HP does this and proves, not only is it not disastrous, but it's profitable. Yeah, it's you know love or hate it. it it's it, it's it. And honestly, I think it will be very successful. Um, because, I mean, it's the walled garden approach just doesn't make sense. And honestly, I think this would help establish WebOS as a third slash fourth major competitive OS. I mean, it's it's loosely Linux based, but it isn't a it, it to call it a Linux OS is a little deceptive. You know, if you're if you're a Linux fanboy, you can say it's Linux, it's Linux. It's like a it's Linux based. It's, it's, yeah. But it, it's not. It's not Linux. But yeah, it's, it's very open. You know, you don't really need the jailbreak it or root it to install it in third-party apps. You know, it's really no point. Yeah. It's okay. really the only point of jailbreaking part of the whole fucking phone. That's about it. Well, no, and it's uh, I, I, WebOS is an interesting character because yeah, what about it, the OEMs that they can have like. Well, no. The, what's also going to be really interesting here is HP is obviously pushing WebOS. They want WebOS to stick, but they're not abandoning Windows, which means HP computers are going to be the only mainstream dual boot computer on the market. Others have the ability to add, but they come dual boot stock, which is uh, a, an approach that uh, gets the end. Yeah, it, well, it, 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 yeah, that that that's that that's the thing that that's something the average end user hasn't ever really become accustomed to. But if HP starts shipping them like that, that's going to be something that's not going to be this foreign concept to the average end user. Which then you know the it, it opens a lot of doors for a lot of other things. Um, anything else we want to say on that, or do we want to move on? Okay. Um, getting on to Googleness. Um, I'm sorry. Usually Motorola has good names for their phones, but when I read this headline, the yeah, no, 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 the the, the uh, yeah, I, 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 it's just I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Can I put inside a torpedo and watch their submarine? <laughs> no, 
<laughs> it's not a torpedo. It's a photon. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's the, you know everybody's pushing this push for 4G. Uh, I'm kind of underwhelmed with the 4G ness. I, I don't know. Ben, are you? Oh, I don't know. 4G. So I don't know. Well, uh, the problem is, um, it's becoming. You can either have s the the debate that's going on a lot of places is you can have 3G unmetered or you can upgrade to 4G and have more speed but get the bill from hell. And I'm like, that, that's not really a good choice, you know? What about Sprint? Can you go to, I mean, you can get Sprint 4G and not get the bill from hell, you know? But then they charge you an extra fee for tethering. Yeah. Uh, which is less, but it's still, why is there the extra fee? Yeah, but is there any way that prove that you're tethering if you're jailbroken? Yeah, because you'd be able to tell from the header and the web packets that you're loading the non-mobile versions of other things and so forth. It'd get real obvious real quick. Okay. Um, it, it, it's it, it's one of the ways in which AT and T is finding all those people breaking the agreement and so on and so forth. It, it becomes obvious rather quickly. Um. Okay. Since none of us have any two cents in this, moving on to the Chromium books. I'm sure some uh, of us. That's Chromus. Chrome OS is such a boring topic for me, so yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I, I can't stand, I can't stand I'll see that. I'll but, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll see it again, and I'll use to crack it, but, like, nah. Do we want to take bets if anybody's going to order? I mean, they're, they're taking pre-orders now. Do we want to take bets on how many pre-orders? <laughs> I, I, I mean, this is one of those things I'm just like, I, I'm sure there's a market for it, and I'm sure it'll do well, but it's one of those things I'm like, really? Yeah, like, well, Chrome OS, I never really cared for it, because it, all it is is just a browser. Yeah, but that's a lot of what really what most people need. You know, like, <laughs> most people, when they open up their computer, they, like, they just click on the Internet Explorer, and there they go. Yeah, I, I download pages and pages of porn. What am I going to do? You're going to tell Google your preferences in Asian women. But <laughs> 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 well, come on, man. They already know anyways. <laughs> I mean, that's why I have hearts, the hard drive space on there so I can, you know, put that porn somewhere. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, you porn fuck the porn. One terabyte hard drive, that's not a porn, man. <laughs> Uh, very high power <laughs> how did we get on porn from wet cloud computing? That's just, what? I don't know. What graphical game that you're gonna play on your Mac? You know. No, this is why I hate uh, uh, Windows Phone. Because it's the new Windows Eight. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna. Uh, like it. Yeah, we're gonna be. It's the uh, yeah, There's this big debate on Windows Eight going on behind the scenes why right you now. I, I, I have a question, uh, Marcel. A bit. You have a iPhone. You're use, you prefer WebOS, but you have an iPhone. It's my wife's. Right. Yeah. Is there a Starbucks app for the iPhone? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'd love to follow Chute with this story, but I'm not sure I agree with it because it's claiming because there is a Starbucks app for Android. It means Google's winning the war. Was I don't disagree. I, I think they're saying that that uh, it was. they're finding more in Android installs than than um, iPhones. Well, that's no surprise to me. There's more Android devices by a considerable number. <laughs> oh, I, I thought I put this up because uh, I wanted to play the stereotypical game. I mean, I, I don't I don't go to Starbucks at all. I can't stand their coffee. But um, how many times would it be that, and maybe I'm wrong on this, I always thought Apple and Starbucks, that kind of feng shui kind of motif thing, went, went, went hand in hand. I mean, I could no, be wrong. No, no, I, 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 I am with but, you. Honest, uh, 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 although, it, it, honestly, these are the people I see going to Starbucks. I see the people who, like, care more about the bling and the shiny and the ex Starbucks is like the other fashion accessory. Hi, I have my no flat, I'm very flat, between those, I'm fat, I'm fat. I don't care if I get my email and my shiny Mac, you know. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to get my Starbucks. Yeah, 
paying uh, paying out the ass for the expensive Wi-Fi, you know, yeah. drinking my triple mo tri triple shot mocha frappuccino with all that crap on it, you know. Yeah. I guess I guess I get I, I I know quite a few lawyers that I work with some of my software, and that is true. All, a lot of them actually own drawings. You know, they think about it, but it's like. It, you go there and you think, oh, you see the Apple MacBook Airs and the MacBooks and all. I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was a stereotypical relationship. It, it, it is a stereotypical, but I would also say it's more, it's not just the Apple people. It's it's the people with a good chunk of disposable income, which admittedly happens to also be a good number of techno geeky people who are working long hours at, for adequate to decent pay so a lot of them have five to ten thousand dollars of disposable income which a lot of them because of poor impulse control dispose of on stuff <laughs> you know it's, it's stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 I will admit that I've gone to Starbucks every now and then and although I, I don't because there isn't really one around here but the reason I go to places like Starbucks has nothing to do with the culture and other thing. I try not to because it's ridiculously expensive for what it is. Well, no, that's not what the thing is. I, I'm ashamed to admit this. I'm, I'm not ashamed, but it's one of those things that's like, what the hell? For some reason, I can do a lot of things, but I cannot make a cup of coffee. <laughs> no, I, I follow the directions. I do everything I'm supposed to, and it comes out tasting like crap. And I have no idea what the hell places like Starbucks do to the coffee because even their black coffee tastes like coffee. And when I make coffee, it doesn't taste like coffee. It tastes like I poured hot water over something. <laughs> I mean, I like coffee, and, and the reason why, I, coffee to me though, and this is my stereotypical and we'll get thing, and we'll get it uh, segues, is that I couldn't stand what Starbucks did to coffee. To me, coffee should be black, no sugar, no cream or anything, and you should, and, and it should be, uh, you know, pressurized, so you get, you get, actually get the aroma of the beans and the taste of the beans. I you see, the beans. I mean, there's a distinctive flavor difference. What did Starbucks do to it? They started adding whipped cream, caramel, sugar. No, no, say, I, I'm with you. I, 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 was a garbage I, I don't mind black uh -huh. double sweet or like for seasonal times flavoring or for stuff like that, but it's coffee. I don't need a pound of whipped cream on top of it and turn it into a sundae or something. I'm, I, I'm with you there. It's, like it's, exactly. it's, it's a cup of coffee, not an ice cream sundae, damn it. <laughs> That is the other thing about Starbucks. I don't give a shit how much they say this, and I know it's another language, and I know it's what it means to another language, but when I go to Starbucks, I order a small, a medium, or a large, and that's what I say, and that's what I'm going to say. I don't give a shit what the hell you call it. And the, the cashier always responds to me. Oh, you mean a mana? No, I mean a medium. <laughs> I mean the middle you size. You get all this stuff. I mean, that's, you know, I don't want anything. I, I, I just, I'm, I'm just not in a Starbucks at all. <laughs> there, uh, but, um, people, uh, people don't understand how to leave things alone. You know, when, when something's good, just leave it alone. Yeah, you, you know, they must be doing something right because they're a multi-billion dollar international no, corporation. Obviously, I mean, because repackaging sells. Hello. I, I, I know. <laughs> it's... All, all iCloud is doing is repackaging, repackaging technology, uh, what, going on 15 years old, something like that? You know, and that's saying something because, like, the original owners of Starbucks had no interest in being a coffee shop. They sold the machines to make coffee. It was like they, they sold coffee in their store, but it was just to demo what the machines were capable of. Their goal was on selling the machines. <laughs> it's like the guy bought them out and like took Starbucks into a national coffee house thing. But they had no they, they thought he was nuts. They're like, nobody wants to buy coffee. They want to buy coffee machines. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they want to buy coffee machines, obviously they want to buy coffee. <laughs> 
Yeah. I, I kind of wish that's what Starbucks still was, because then you'd walk into a Starbucks, and if you liked what they made, you'd go buy the machine, take it home, and have it every morning yourself for a tenth the price. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, what do you think about French presses, you know? I heard those are good for quality coffee. I heard the worst word is making coffee is from a percolator. I, I, I don't know. Like, like I said, I'm not qualified to say how to make coffee, because no matter what I do, it just comes out like charcoal water. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> You're doing it wrong. No, 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 I, 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 and you know, I've told this to people, and they, they go, oh no, I'll show you how to do it. And they show me how to do it, and I make the office coffee. And they just like, don't worry, you never have to make all this coffee again. Like, they don't believe me. I am not me making coffee bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, uh, Bit, uh, or, or I think Bit added this, leading the way in the rimness. Yeah, because I don't like how black people, for media wise, blackberries get picked off uh, and, and rim. And I actually like the fact. I think what they, I like the playbook. I think I think the size of their tablet is the is the right size. I actually wish that HP made the touchpad that size. I I, I prefer that size. I, I, to me, a tablet will forever remain an extension of my cell phone. Period. It, because as a standalone device, they, they're no good for anything other than gaming, in my opinion. And uh, you can't browse the web effectively. You can't type word processing documents unless you want it to be very painful or use a Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, so really all I see and, and most users that I see with these iPads are doing nothing but games and holding it up and like they're driving a car and all that. I mean, I think you can be made to do utilitarian work, but I think there's a certain class of user who's just going to always prefer the laptop form factor to the slate. Yeah, well, no, it's productive. You type on a keyboard, you're used to it. On a virtual keyboard, um, I'd like, I don't know, I want to see somebody what, get 62 words per minute on a, on a, on a virtual keyboard. You, you, you know, but, like I said, yeah. this is why I say you and me are old farts, because the, the, there are like people who can do this. They can type like 90 to 100 words a minute with their thumbs. They can text and time and, 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 and know, actual words and I'm like, you know what? Uh-uh. No. Not, but I'm like, whatever. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's, yeah. um, the, 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 um, and, and if that, and if, and if there are people that can, can get that fast, fine. I don't think the average user does because I observe and people are, are, are using them pretty damn slow. I mean, at least from, from my observations. Well, I like the about them and I try to... The thing that I prop up about RIM and, and I support RIM on is that they represent the professional user. And that's something that's dying. I can't stand this. No, it, 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 it is. We're, 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 it's something that's overtaking oh, everything. I think the professional user the whole thing is dying. You know, because, look, you know, there are still companies that sell the enterprise machine. You know, Dell still sells large laptops. You know, Toshiba still sells the Tecras. And, you know, and the but, ThinkPad lines are still existing, you know. Even though they're not really the, the thing guys want to buy anymore, you know. Well, let's see, but that's the thing. Every year, it's becoming more and more of a niche market. You know, it used to be it was the mainstream. Then it became it was the less than mainstream. Then it became a large niche. And now it's becoming the fringe users. It's it, 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 it's at like the tipping point where if we go much more down the road we're on right now, it, it's it, it we're going to be looking at power users, enterprise business users, uh, like what he's talking about with, with BlackBerry and so on and other things. In the same way we do now, people who are old enough to remember actually coding everything by hand. You know, and like having to solve yeah. things in binary and then so, it's like because right. the reality is why there are still people who know how to do this. There are, there are, there are 19 year old kids who know how to do this, uber, uber geeks, but they're such a fringe. They're not the average programmer anymore. They're, right. they're yeah, it's. See, what I'm getting at is that, okay, why is it looked at the Apple Lens? I don't think it should be looked at the Apple Lens. Like, it was the, the flip came out. As uh, it's not standalone. Well, no, because Rim was concerned about security. They wanted a they wanted a one link security where if you were a BlackBerry phone user, 
you can then push your applications under the secure network to the playbook. And nothing would get stored on the play on the playbook you know, for enough for enterprise. In other words, enterprise concerned about wiping data and they don't want to oh but no, it's all ridiculed and this and that. Well why is the tablet supposed to be standalone? Why? Because Apple said so? I no, think no, I'm, no, I'm, because, I'm because I think the iPad's useless for me. Because I, Android because Android is trying to make this standalone device. Apple's trying to actually yeah, make should, the tethered it's device. Is not, the browsers suck on these devices. You cannot get full anything. And, and if it's like, oh, well, Flash is going to die. Bull crap, Flash is going to die. I mean, even if that's one, it's, it's um, ubiquitous enough. It's not that. I'm not even talking about Flash. The way it loads, how it renders. And none of it is really the full experience that I get on a, on a, on a, on a desktop. And so I find it slow, aggravating, and, and annoying. And especially touch, even when navigating websites where they can say, well, things need to be coded. So for touch, well, no, I don't think t touch is the wrong direction. It's slower, number one, and I don't care what anybody says. It is slower. Prove to me that a keystroke is slower than some damn long swipe across some damn device. Something it's like slower, I'm sorry. but it's it, it, here's the thing. If you know what you're doing and you're a proficient user, it's slower because a keyboard warrior, oh dear lord, it's like you said, a keyboard warrior loose. They're doing 90 things a minute. You know, it's like, and you cannot do that with a swipe gesture. But that's not the average user. And one of the advantages touch well, has... Well, we all take typing in school? No, well, no, I know that. But one of the advantages touch has is that it, it's, it's intuitive. You reach in there, and you're actually touching the thing. I know you're not really, but you're... Not, and that's the thing. It makes sense but to it, the way... But it inhibits the full power that we can get, right? I mean, it, it, I, I'm I'm with you, but I acknowledge the trend, you know. Yeah. And at the end of the day, these people don't care that they're less productive. They care that they can turn their brain off. That's right. And this is the candy mentality that I'm talking about. I think that there's going to be a backlash once we get so unproductive that they're going to be like a new slew of products to be the new productive because everything else has gone so unproductive. And and. The, the Candyland mentality of, of saying, oh, well, you know, I, well, I play games on... But mostly, most of all of these standalone devices, whether it's the, um, uh, an Android tablet or the iPad, 90% of the time, from adults to children that I see using it, it's a game running on the dance floor. And if, if, if everything wants to be games, then fine. Then it's a standalone gaming device to go, go compete with Nintendo DS. Yeah, but I... Bet, bet, bet. I, you don't bit you don't market it that way because I can't get my company to buy me a game console. <laughs> I, I, I'm yeah yeah that would be nice, but if I can get them to buy a game console that's marketed as something else, that's equally nice, you know. <laughs> yeah, I I, I know. P -p Personally, I'm with Bit. I, I think Rim. I, 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 I'm hoping Rim manages to stay around because what Rim does, they're very good at. You know, they set. They came in and they set the bar here. That's and, and that. That's, that's was the next link, which was Rim acquiring a game company. Yeah. That, I, well, no, but see, that, they're saying, please, Rim. No, no. no. That, that's don't. the thing. Rim, <laughs> Rim is seeing what's going on with the industry, and they're trying to adapt to be the dumbed down consumer thing and like you're saying they can't be rim and have security and be the dumbed down consumer thing because well, they're, trying they're, to do that. they're trying to do that with this I forget the name of the product or they call it there's a separation between enterprise and 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 fun which is fine I think if they if that's implemented and it keeps it separate within the software that's great what I'm getting at though is in principle on how we compute and that's, that's been my biggest... I don't think, and I'm not convinced that tablets are going to last in their current form. Until hardware and other things are supported in, quite frankly, the way we use them um, to get things done. I, I, I don't, do, you, do you guys see people doing serious amounts of Word documents? And, I, 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 I do... Tablets? No, I can't see people doing serious amounts of work in them, but, and it's a big but, you need to take an entire fresh look at the industry. You have to acknowledge what the end user wants, what the average user trend is. You have to cater to that 
and you have to create software that allows them to do things of the complexity like you and me do for our clients in a way that is not intimidating to the end user that lets them it lets like the unsophisticated but user a that's true even if tablets are not a fad I still believe tablets are a fad yes. it's like and people can say oh well it's okay because they sold 15 million iPads well you know the inventor of the pet rock also made millions the, the, the analogy that I'm trying to make is that and, and, and how and how many dogless leashes did Gallagher sell? You know, it's like. <laughs> Does that make it okay? Um, I what I'm trying to say is I don't think this is a permanent, a permanent product line that is going to last in its current form unless it goes gaming. Gaming will preserve it, and surely enough, the iPad could then become the D, the Nintendo DS that that do other things or something. But but um, the the. The, I think that by firing CEOs and worrying about this wave that I call the Fed and change your entire business strategy to make a short-term buck is the wrong philosophy. I, think I, that, I, I, I don't think you should change your whole business strategy. Exactly. I, I, I think the variable, and I've said this several times and I'm still standing by it, on whether or not, it, right now it is a Fed. It can be made to stick if certain software and hybrid solutions are created in which case it will have a, it will have a it will have a niche as this interlink device for other things i mean honestly i would see that being useful i'd love to go sit on the beach and it me on the beach and uh have this you know little seven to ten inch slate and communicate remotely with the office you know i'm on vacation i'm not really getting anything done but in case i'm needed i'm here and I have access, and I can do something. I see it being right. perfect for that, because I don't want to take the whole thing with me. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the idea of you print your facts on the beach. <laughs> it's like what I said about uh, Apple not wanting their iPhone and iPod Touch to be a gaming device. And oh, well, first they didn't want applications, and then they didn't want to really add any games in there, and they were kind of pushed into it. Now Apple is going into the gaming industries, kicking and screaming, and saying, "Hell no, we don't want to make video games for people." Yeah, but then they just advertise in the last keynote that they have one of the largest gaming communities now. Yeah, so I know. Like, <laughs> they only have a game center for iPad and iPod Touch and iPhone. Right. So yeah, they're in it yeah. full force and. We had to push them in there, kicking and screaming, like, no, no, I don't want a game center. Let other people do it. Right. And now right. you're making millions of dollars, Apple. How do you feel? But they're games. I know. There's a lot of money to be made in games. And oh, I know. I just want to make... The I know. Thing I, thing I was the, the, the whole time when I saw this in line because they didn't purport anything really professional. But yeah, I, in my that copy that I have, it, it's actually it's a lot of cool things that are very professional. They didn't have them at the time, you know? uh, wait, say that again, Commodore. Maybe they're just saying that because they didn't have them at the time because Macs don't have games. Like, we don't need games. They don't like games, you know? No, Bullshit. They still, say they still say it. That's the funny part. That's why there's never going to be a console by Apple. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll just be this device that's designed to do games and everybody plays games on. But it's not a console. It's a device. I assure you, all the points that Jobs had made that when he said that there's a room for a product class, you when he called it the tablet, and he made that whole team up, and he said, this, 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 and this better? get a controller, and the controller will be awkward as some of the holes, but you have that weird No, 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 the, the thing that the Apple TV needs to do is get a hard drive before it can do anything, because right now... Get a hard drive. No, the second generation uh, uh, Apple TV does not have a hard drive. No, no. Can we not I, use the word TV and Apple in the same sentence? It's not, it's not, that's, it's sacrilege no. to me. Call it the iTunes, the Apple iTunes Plus box. <laughs> My best way to repair the, uh, the second generation Apple TV is to take a shotgun to it, but that's just how I'd fix that. <laughs> Unless, unless you have a, an internet service provider that's capping your bandwidth. <laughs> but here's the thing. Everybody's using their uh, Mac Minis now that it has an HDMI connector on it. Screw 
Yeah, that's one of my most popular videos from way back when I made a decision. I mean, that is hugely one of my top videos that is. Well, no, it's like and the, it, 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 with the time. original Apple yeah. TV, that was really all it was. It was a Mac Mini with a composite no, out instead of with, and it was basically a little bit less. It was a Mac Mini less with a TV compatible output, but now like you're saying, now that they use HDMI and TVs use HDMI, and so it's like we have a universal compatible out, and it actually, you're right, if you want to go that route, it is the better TV, even though it isn't a TV, because it doesn't have a TV tuner, but neither does the Apple TV. <laughs> like, no, but you, can add, but you can add the tuner to it and, and function and put the PVR and everything else on it, you know, it's well, that's I, definitely I, happened with the you know, Apple but, like, but this is this is one of the things I've been wondering on the Mac Mini for a long time. I were on that. Uh, one of the things I've never understood is now that we have these mini ITX boards with like the single PCIe expansion slot. Why the devil is there not an i series Mac Mini with a PCI slot expandability option? Uh, there is. It's in it, but you have to hack it in. It's in the um, the airport card. I know it's a mini PCI e, e, e card, but what I'm talking about, they make systems now that have a full-size 16X PCIe card on them. They're using the low-profile ones if you're using a case that's short like Apple's is. But honestly, there are plenty of low-profile cards that was like, and that would let you add something like an internal TV tuner or so on and so forth. I, it's it's one of the I, I guess it's because no end users should ever have to think about making their computer more, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. uh. But yeah, uh. it's, it's, I want to be clear that, that, that on, on the original topic is that is that touch is effective for our mobile devices, right? And the reason why I go after tablets because I feel that my screen real estate is too small, even if I have a hard keyboard on on my mobile phone, and. Uh, if I, and, but it's not every all the time that I need to do it, it, the work that I want to do with the screen real estate provided, and so I like I like being able to not always have the little, the little tablet with me. But I've yeah. always viewed the. Yeah, I'm the, just gonna say that touch makes a bad desktop. Well, no, no. Bit, yeah. What I what I was honestly gonna say with uh, on the touch thing, my personal opinion is voice control augmented by touch is a much more intuitive interface. Well, yeah, if we're gonna talk, yeah, if we're gonna be talking about intuitive, but see, then I get back to, well, we all took typing. It, the keyboard has obviously been the master of, of, of input for the computer, and, and good lord, it's got support for a lot, uh, not a lot of people type, and they can, can type nice and they can speak. And I think that there's a lot of uh, that, that this shouldn't be shown. Now, I will say that in my investigations and in my copy of line that I have. All of the professional features are there, so that's a good thing. And and Apple hasn't really taken anything professional away and has added a lot of professionalism to line. It's just not marketing. And that's something that I want, which I feel that the candy land When I say uh, this is why I'm <laughs> holding reservations on Windows 8. I, I, I know how they're marketing. Until I get my hands on it and play with yeah, it, so I'm so not going like to condemn it else. yet. Yeah. But yeah. and my, my concern is, uh, why I, uh, my guess is in both, like you say, Lion and probably Windows 8, it's probably there. My concern is, how long is it going to stay there? <laughs> That's what I'm getting at, is that <laughs> if we don't educate the Candyland user to be more pro and say, hey, did you know you could use this in the operating system? And this and this and this, and we get them interested. Well, no, no, I, it's, it's, it, it, it's stupid stuff. The other day, I was at somebody's place... And the screen was too small to read, and they were like, they were like, they were like putting their eyeballs up to the screen because they couldn't see. And I just, you know, Control Plus Plus, you know, zoom in, you know, it's like they're like, what did you do? What did you do? I'm like, I zoomed in. They're like, how did you do that? <laughs> dedicating videos to creating the Mac Pro user. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be having videos just, in, and if people already know it, that's fine, because I'm sure most of my demographics that watch my videos are <laughs> rather you know, the professional side, but I don't care. I'm going to I'm gonna make it a mission to try to bring back the pro user uh, as much as possible to get away from a lot of the, the, the Candyland features, I call it. And I don't mean to just be 
Well, exactly. no, and, 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 and you know what? That, 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 that's my real problem with, with the Candyland-ness. I'm all for making it user-friendly, but make it user-friendly in a way that encourages pro-use. You know, encourage people to want to dive in there and learn how to do things for themselves. Don't encourage them to turn their brains off. Right. You know? We're getting, we're getting, we're lowering the bar, lowering the common denominator, lower, 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 from, from mainstream. Well, no, and, so, and that's the thing. If you lower it down here and then everybody gets down there, then the only way you can go is lower, Lower and lower. <laughs> right. Now, if the argument is to say, well, Mr. Ben, the majority of users really don't want to do all of that other stuff. Okay, fine. I, if I educate them and show them another way and they say, well, it's still, I prefer it this way and I really don't need to do all of that, that's fine. Enough. But then, it's what's going to happen. You're going to have, a, I, I, I would say, you're going to have a large amount of users because we all use computers that work for business, right? Windows was so successful that the business bled into the home. And that's what people don't understand. The reason why Windows went so viral is that people bring their work home. And also, uh, they but learn... That bit, that, that bit I, 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 like I say, you and I are dinosaurs. The trend now is, I don't want to think about it. At least 50 times a week, one person or another literally tells me, I just want to turn my brain off. It's a concept okay, they, they I... do that, but guess what happens? All the 3D movies, pretty much everybody's turned their brains off Yeah, that. Yeah, it's just, it, literally, we, we have a society of people who their, their their reaction is, I don't want to think. I want but somebody to... It's like that 1984, but everybody has a lobotomy, but it was <laughs> still on, on Twitter, you know? But, but what I'm getting at is that the workplace created habitual behavior. I know. And, and, and that... We became accustomed, and that's how I derive and say, well, hey, you know what, Windows is, you shouldn't project Windows behavior on everything you do. And that's what I'm getting at, is that business, when it comes time, and we get, if the, the retail gets so Candyland oriented, then they're gonna, we're just going to go through another cycle of where the productivity uh, units and devices start getting sold. Because if they take their entire echelon of products and bring it down to the, the, to the baseline denominator, Businesses are going to go. Oh hell no! We need to. We need. We need a software package. Oh, well, and, and you know, it goes down to something else. You know, the underlying uh, thing there is more and more people are going. It should be easy enough for a three-year-old to use. And my reaction to that is always, you know, y'all forget how fucking smart three-year-olds actually are. Three-year-olds are not little walking morons. They're un yeah. they're unexperienced human beings. Right. They're pretty damn smart, actually. Right. <laughs> And the thing of it is, is that and I don't. And, and, and I'm not trying to speak to be. Oh, we don't need the fund. Of course, we need the fund. But I think that there always has to be a balance. And, and perhaps it's that the demographics of what I deal with, um, of my audience, maybe are, are are not employed or have not been employed for a long time, and and don't realize that you when you go to work, they train you to do you know things, and you're on a computer, you create habits. And you become very productive at doing those habits where it becomes second nature. And then you're going to go home, and you're going to turn on a computer, and I guarantee you, your brain wants to go down the path of least resistance. And you're going to want your device at home to reflect the easiness in what you were paid to learn on, to be as quick in what you did at work. And, and, and that's what I'm getting. The, I, the iPad and all this other stuff is able to move around right now. Why? Because the workplace is not really adopting mobile devices for mainstream productivity. They're used as assisted things which are predominantly communication and email, right? But when it comes to actually doing work like word processing and other types of items like that, it's still not very much mainstream in the workplace. And Windows is still the dominant force within the workplace. But I guarantee you as, as these two worlds collide, business wins because people get paid to learn these habits on the computer when they go to work. They don't get paid to learn how to use uh, a tablet that they want for a luxury device, and that's why I always say, "Hey, let's 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 keep things in perspective, and um, you have a balance of fun." And I think Rim is actually marketing that. They're saying, "You know what? We're pretty much enterprise." Uh, yeah, we're but you know something. what? Here's the th at the end of the day, and we'll move on to your Netflix thing in a minute here. But at the end of the day, what? At the end of the day, one way is marketing 
Hi, we'll take care of everything for you. You don't have to do anything. Just sit back and be a sheep. And the other way is marketing. Hi, you have to do something. It's easy, but you have to do it. And the reality is the mentality that we're going for these days. Like, what do you mean I have to do it? You're supposed to take care of me. I'm an infant. <laughs> so, but that's my, that's my whole spill on this is that it, it's just right now we're, we're experiencing this Canadian mentality because a lot of products have launched that are essentially luxury devices. And, and at a Jimmy, time when nobody yeah. has any money for luxuries, which I find hysterical, and somehow they're selling. They're selling. <laughs> they're selling. Like any, cars. Yeah. Anyways, oh God, don't get me started. Uh, what was this about Netflix? <laughs> hey, hey, I have an answer for that though. Why are they selling? You know, I was, I was a. This is totally not tech, but I sure. was a, a volunteer here in Houston to help um, for Ike relief, or not Ike relief, for Katrina relief. Hurricane Katrina, when a lot of the, the residents from Louisiana came here, right, and they're they're very much in disarray. But a sad thing of it is, is that they're in flooding water. Uh, and what are people doing? They're grabbing. They're they're going to the electronic store, grabbing Xboxes uh, and, and TVs versus food and water. So it also kind of shows. Demographics of people and where are their priorities? So. Yeah, yeah. See, that's that's the thing I've never understood about people. I'm like, oh, I got me, I got me my Xbox and my TV. I don't have no food, but I'm happy. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, it was. Yeah, you know, I remember Gluck. Uh, you guys probably don't know Gluck Ninja, but he. I remember he said he, Jim was necessary. I remember that. Yeah, he said he spouted that out. He said. Gaming is a necessity. He's like, like, did you please shut up? You know, I, 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 even though I need them to do my job, I argue all these fucking computers in front of me are a luxury. Because at the end of the day, I don't need them to actually be able to do anything. I, I, they're useful. I do need them to do my job, but it's not the only job I can do. You know, if it came down to it. I'm a pretty good carpenter. I can get paid to put up fences. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I get what you're getting at, yeah. But, I mean, obviously, we choose our career paths and, and the tools that we need for, for the trade. Can I but. be a bouncer and beat people up for money? <laughs> <laughs> there will be a... Pr you know what? Best bouncers in the world... I learned this from a dirty old fogey. Yeah. Best bouncers in the world are little hot chicks. Right. <laughs> Drunk guys will not hit little hot chicks, and it's true. It's like those little hot chicks can take these three hundred pound gorillas and just escort them out of the place. And that's you know, Mr. T was a bouncer. Oh God! <laughs> and, and, and let me ask you a question: Do you guys think that Motorola made some good profit off of the Zoom? I mean, if they sold two hundred fifty thousand units, well, they did. most of these companies, yeah. most of these companies want a short term profit, and I understand they're they're. They're like, let's ride this wave. We're no, it, the, see, that was the thing. The, they lost, Motorola lost a lot. The droid, the original droid for Motorola was a loss leader to establish them as a flagship Android brand. But everything they've come out with since, they've made money on every single one, including... Okay. <laughs> I understand that from a... They're, they're like, okay, how much, you know, how much of a profit center can we, can we make? Because they're like, we're going to this for yeah. Really good. It's just when you design your ecosystem and software that creates user behavior and expectations, it gets dangerous. Well, no, and that was actually my problem with the Zoom, is it was very clear how they were pricing it. That's what their deal was. They were just milking it for a short-term profit rather than establishing a long-term product, which is kind of an insult. Okay. Uh, last, so Netflix. Last story, Netflix. <laughs> What's this about? Well, they're on everything now. Really? They want to be. <laughs> oh, they were—they were already on Android. What? What weren't they on? I mean, pretty much the only thing Netflix isn't on at this point, as far as I know, is Linux. I can't—I can't put Netflix down. I've been one of their subscribers since they started, and they had almost no library. I mean, that was years ago. <laughs> well, and honestly, today the Netflix model. Um, economically and in every way makes the most sense because the reality is if you can get access to the content at any time with little or no notice then at the end of the day what's the real point in buying any of it 
Because yeah, I mean, they're just, they're just doing their product. They're delivering no. us uh, TV and movies. I, I mean, they're not. Yeah. It's not like they're trying to do uh, other markets and or operating systems. They're not building. Yeah, you know, uh, I mean, if, if you they do very well. if you like media, traditional media, Netflix. If you like games, GameFly. You know, that's that's just yeah. the reality of today's world. It'll save you a shitload of money. Well, the thing about the uh, Netflix being on the 3DS is that they're going to use the 3D screen and have three uh, special 3D movies on there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, is that any good, though? I've not really watched 3D movies. I mean... Uh, I, 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 okay, I, I, I can sum it up a bit. 3D movies, they, they don't make me sick and they don't make me dizzy, but they really mess with my... Uh, visual acuity what well, because the problem is I'm a visual person to begin with and the problem with the 3d movies is they're not actually 3d what they are is just a plane it's it's like if I take a piece of paper and cut it out in the shape of you bit and then move it three inches off the screen it's two-dimensional thick it's there's no depth to the 3dness and it it does it messes with my head because it the spatial isn't right. I can see that the 3D image has no depth. If you, if, if you don't get caught up on this, it's great, but I get caught up on this. I actually prefer... I, 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 yeah, the, the last... Okay, I think the last 3D movie was Tron that I saw, but before Tron, uh, it was Jaws. I think it was Jaws 3D. Was the last 3D movie that I saw. I've not seen a 3D anything outside of a movie theater. You know, I don't know what it is. What, what, do you look at the glasses and stuff? Well, no, that, 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 that's the thing. I, I want to see more 3D movies where the 3D-ness is not for the sake of 3D-ness. The closest I've seen to that was Avatar, like where they weren't doing scenes just to be 3 d but it's, it, it's, it was still I didn't like the technology. But it's, I want to see movies where it's not like the cheesy, you know, like, hey, here's our sandwich, here's our sandwich. You know, it's like the, they're using the 3E as a tool, but not just that. Well, I, 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 you know, if it's, if, if, so you think it's the 3D outside of the movie theater is gimmicky? Uh, or, you know, it, just milk it, I guess, at, at this point, however, something that's becoming more and more popular, when I was in Fry's over the holidays, God, I miss Fry's, um, I saw something on the store there, they're, they're selling 3D glasses now, and if they can make that catch on, then 3D's not going to be a gimmick, it's going to be basically everybody buys their own pair of 3D glasses. Do you guys like it? I mean, I mean... I don't know. I, there was something about it when I saw Tron. It's like I don't. I, I, I don't particularly want the. the, the no, no. Uh, see, that that's the thing. I, I I don't I, like I, it because it's, it's because of the two D nature of the three D. If they change the technology, or they're putting a lot more layers in it, so my eye meshes the layers together and it seems true three D. I may change my mind, but in its current incarnation. I don't really want it. I have no interest in having I this. Mean, what is the objective of 3D initially? To, to, to move the content in and in around this? Like virtual reality? Is, and is, I, I guess, what is the end goal of it? Is I don't think, you know, I don't, I, I, honestly, or, at, at this I point, I think the end goal of it is to get you to buy 3D. I don't think there <laughs> is an end goal beyond that. Well, uh, the thing is that 3D is failing in the home market. Yeah, except maybe the 3DS. Uh, it's failing as a TV set. It's failing on computers. Even though there are 3D cards you can get. And yeah, the NVIDIA 3D vision crap. Yeah. Yeah. And it's failing. And it's not selling very well because people have to get glasses for that. The reason why the 3DS is kind of doing good is mainly because you don't have to have glasses to see their 3D. Right. And and, that, and those glasses aren't cheap. They're like a hundred bucks plus a piece. Yeah, what? Yeah. So like your your family of five, you'd have to spend five hundred bucks, bit. Well, I, I mean, I guess they're like a few dollars. The reason why they're succeeding is that they're taking the really bad, crappy films like The Green Hornet, turning them into three D, so that it would uh, increase its profits. Yeah, but, which is just no. Then, not only that, the uh, Green Hornet was not shot in 
3D. Well, no, that, 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 that's another thing. The technology, I, if 3D is going to stick, and I don't think it's going to stick this time, but the technology I see making 3D stick isn't the one Hollywood or anybody's currently used. It's one that requires, basically, you take the picture normal with a camera, and then the computer inside the camera does a smart 3Dization. Uh, and that actually looks more three-dimensional than the stuff that's shot three-dimensionally because it's actually taking the shadows and everything and trying to create this rounded thing. It's trying to project, trying to make it look 3D-ish. Uh, but, then, but then that's all CG'd and you don't need any special equipment. It's just been rendered to look three-dimensional. Here's the problem. Uh, Sony can't sell their home stuff. And it's beyond true because it's not even selling very well on the PS3. But uh, in the movie theater, it's selling like wildfire. Everybody's going for 3D films. No, and, and you know it, it's and it, it's it's one of those things. You know why it's cheesy. You know there's movie something. To, yeah, there's something to be said for sitting in that IMAX screen with you know the. The, the thing coming at you, you know, it's like it, it's cheesy, but hey, what the hell? You know, it's a night, it's a it's a fun night. You know, what, you know, but that doesn't transition well into the home. It, it just doesn't. I know. It, it's just. I think what it did is that made everybody addicted to the 3D films on 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 the th in the theaters, which I hate. Because it's like I gotta see my movies in 3D. Only one good movie. That, I mean, only a few good movies came out that were not in 3D, and it made just it made double the amount of money. And of course, all three of them were directed by Christopher Nolan. And, <laughs> and I'm talking about Batman Begins, Dark Knight, and Inception. Hey, we're going to go to the dream within a dream within a dream of the dream and within a dream. Made a hell of money. And <laughs> I never saw it. All I know about it is that South Park made fun of it and said it was a stupid idea. <laughs> I, I, I think I kind of like it. It was, a, it, was a, it was an abstract story, of course. And I, so I give it props for trying not to copy and rewrite another damn rehash story. You know, it's, it, it's out there, but, but uh, at least it's not some remake or some damn... They team, didn't, you know... I, I, movie or something. If I'd stuff. known it was what it was, I probably would have gone to see it. The problem is, every so often they have a good movie like that, and like Pitch Black, and like other ones like... But oh, they, dude, Pitch Black was awesome. Yeah, but they market <laughs> them horribly. Like, you don't realize that's what the movie is until... Yeah. <laughs> like, I did not go see Pitch Black in the theater. I could have gone and seen it for free. I was working in a movie theater at the time. I, I literally could have. I, I, I could have. I had no interest to see it because they marketed it completely effing wrong. You know, with uh, its sequel, which I thought was great. You know, that I loved the sequel. It was. It felt very Star Star Wars ish. It established many great characters. Oh, and there's actually other chapters between Pitch Black and Chronicles of Riddick. Yeah, there's also a scene from Butcher Bay where you get the shiny eyes, but. I think it's about time that we hit off. Yeah, I'm gonna say we're at two hours. We should stop. Okay, uh, we're going to we're going to stop now because we've gone on way too long. But hope you all had fun and uh, peace out. <laughs> yep.